they were in the tennis court and uh, since I'm just here I'm gonna I decided to make I decided to make a video about how to solve a Rubik's cube. So let's get scrambling. I'm scrambling it. So how do you intend how many minutes do you intend to solve it? My fastest solve was 40 mi 40 seconds. So that one you're scrambling, how many seconds do you think you can solve that? could possibly make the yellow cross first because but maybe you can turn the ball. But the white cross would be hard. I'm mm. gonna do the yellow cross. Mm. So, you're gonna. Okay, so let's just do the beginner method. So if you you make if you have a piece like this come closer. You need to make first the white cross while aligning the centers with the edges. I'm gonna tell you what are edges and corners. Corners have three faces, as you can see here. There are eight corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there are 12 here, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And also, and also, there are 43 quintillion different combinations of the Rubik's Cube. So that means, if I just turn this, that could be a new, a new kind of 43 out of one of the 43 quintillion. This, if I do like this, it could be one of the 43 quintillion. There are endless possibilities about your team. So let's get solving. First, we make the white cross. We first find in the bottom if there is something with a white under it and a green here and a color on top here. So we move it around until it's on matching with the right colored center. Then, for then after when you do like this, you move it up. First piece of the cross is solved. Now let's do that again. Now if you have that, that's how, but if you cannot find anything on the bottom like here, and find you find one, but it's flipped. Here's what you're gonna need to do. Put You find the, the right color for the bottom. It's the right color. You move it up. It's up right here. The white facing here. You turn it over here, then you put this down, then you turn this right, and then you turn this up. It's matching. Next, if you have like this middle one right over here, where it's facing, example, the orange is facing here, you, you turn it to the left here. But if it was face, if this orange was facing here, just do like this. But it will make like that. So we're gonna need to do it here. We're gonna need to do that. And then we turn it up. Now, if you're looking for anything like this, uh, you move it here. And then you turn it up. Voila! Your first, your first, the white cross is solved. Now, I'm gonna go into detail. Yes, this is, I'm gonna teach you a sequence of moves. Turn it to the yellow side and do these moves. From the right side up. Then push it, that up to the left. Turn the right side down. And then turn the up, the up to the right. Now repeat those moves until you can do them fast. Now we're gonna do the same for the left. Let's left side up, left side right, left side down, left left side left. Now if you can do them fast, now let's go on to this next. Now you. 
since the white cross is in the is in the bottom, you move it around over here until you can find the right colored centers, green and red, as long it's matching. No need na. Here are some cases. If that thing is facing up, you're gonna need to do the that show, the right uh, no one that I showed you earlier. Now, if you need an, if you need another example, here's here, here's one. You match it over here. It's matching the right colored centers and the right here. Now, if it's facing up, you right side up, right side left, right side down, right side right, right side up, right side left, right side down, right side right. Right side up, right side left, right side down, right side right. Now we have this. Now you need to have these two things solved. And then, but if you have a case like this, where, wait. If you saw what happened there. If you have a case like this. If, if you have a case like this, where the if you have a case like this, that means you're good. Just do the the righty algorithm that I showed you earlier. It's called the righty algorithm once. What I did was an F two L actually. I did two things, but n never mind that. So next. If, here's another one. If it's facing to the left, you do the lefty algorithm. Left, left side up. That. And you see this? You can easily do that. Now, look on, look on the yellow side. Anything that has no yellow on it. This one is a yellow thing. So, we have this. What we're gonna do now is called F2L. F2L is the process of making this, 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 and this. So, you need to know where to go. You need to go here. It's the right side over here. Just remember this. Remember this. You're gonna also need the righty algorithm and the lefty algorithm. This side. It, since this one needs to go over here, in between here. So you move it to the opposite side, left, over here. Now you do the right the algorithm. You need to take this corner out. So you do the left the algorithm. Up. Now once it's fa once it's on top of here, like like it's a you're about to solve. You turn it to the left side, and then do the left the algorithm. Now we have our piece there. Now here's a case. Like there are two like a piece is in here and then you have no piece on the top. You just do like this. Do the righty algorithm and just solve it without even putting a thing. Now let's move on to a different case. It needs to move here. So you move it to the opposite right, which is over here. Then you do the lefty algorithm. And what's the opposite of the right lefty algorithm? You turn to the here. It should be you should turn it to the blue side and then do the righty alg and do the righty algorithm. There we have it. And then we just solve this one. Up. Okay. Now we move on to the top layer. You move there. Now we now we move to the top layer. Now we move to the top layer. Here are the three cases. My, since my, my case is a line, so we put that horizontal, which we already have here. We're facing green. Here's what I'm gonna need to do. You turn this big block sideways like this. It should be these two blocks like that. And then do the righty algorithm. And then... After doing that one time, there. Now I'm gonna show you another one, another case. 
where when it's like this where it's only an L you just, you fa you face that L onto the top and then do the right algorithm you first put the if that eh, just imagine this is an L and ignore this that's an L if you have that case put it on the top on the top left and then do the righty algorithm conveniently I made I made the left like this if your thing is like this you're gonna need to move it here top top left top left now you do the righty algorithm now you do the righty algorithm up And then when you have the horizontal line, if it's like this, you put it uh, no, you put it horizontal like this. What it's And then you turn it like that. Now we have this. There. So if it's like this, put it to the top right, top left, and then do the right algorithm. And then do like that. If your case is like this, if your case is like this and then it's you're not doing this, that means you're gonna have to get a corner that has yellow on it and then attach it there because that is not solvable. Now we have the top thing. Now what were this is called PLL. It's called all. Is where when we make the yellow cross and then solve the corners. But we're gonna do beginner P all all. We're using the C pop method. So if you have like this, you first if you have like this, uh, like this case where it's they're both near each other like this, and the other one is not. You only if you're only to, uh, able to get. Only all if you're able to get all four, that means you you're skip this. You skip this step. But if you're able to get all only two, that means you're gonna have to do this. And if they're like across to each other, this one's in and this one's correct. You just you just do this set of moves. This will work on anything. I know it will work on any side. Just to keep that in matter. So. Turn your right side into up, then you move it to down there. Then when it's already reached here, you put this thing down here, that pair down there. And then you move it back there, and then you open this up, and then there. And then do that two times. You have all the things correct. Now, what we're gonna do is called the knit class. So, what we're gonna do is side that you first put this side over here, then put it up. I'm gonna show you what it's like. You first move this thing over here, then you move this up, then you move this to the side over there, and then up. And then you do reverse. You move this white corner over here and then move, put it down. You move this corner over here and then put it down. Now if you still you see your things not solved, repeat that. Side, up, side, up, side, down, side, down. Side, up, side, down. Now, just keep repeating that until one corner is, if one corner's in the matching while you're doing that thing, stop, stop doing it, literally. 
you make sure that it's in the right slot now you do this the same algorithm before but only of three times until everything is in the right spot Now we got everything in pink, everything in the right corner. Now, since it's, they're in the right corner, just not in the correct place. Uh, here are the cases of, uh, no, this is the case of possible twist, possible torn corner twist. But the one that you need to worry about is not the corner twist. It's really that if you mess this up. Now, we're in the final layer. Now first, you do the righty algorithm. You copy it and then you follow the moves that you did before. I'm gonna show you up, side, down, side, up, side, down, side, up, side, down. I usually make a sound to guide me. And then once it's matched with this one, you move it down. And then you move this over here. And then you need to move this over here. And then if you have like this, you keep doing that up, side, down, side, up, side, down, side, up, side, down, side, up, side, down, side. And then you up, side, down, side, up, side, down, side. Now if you have like this, just twist that because that's a corner twist. And voila, we got everything solved.